Hello students, in this video, we will be discussing about slope of a straight line. Let's start with the definition of inclination of a straight line. The inclination of a straight line is the angle made by a line with x-axis measured in the anti-clockwise direction. Now let's measure the inclination of a straight line. For this, we need coordinate axis. Here it is. Now let's take intersection of a line and the x-axis. Here it is. Now inclination is measured at this point. With respect to this point, uh, from the right portion of a x-axis, the angle measured in the anti-clockwise direction with the line theta is the inclination of this straight line. Let's take one more straight line and measure its inclination. To measure it, we need coordinate axis. It is here. Let's take a uh, intersection of x-axis and the line. With respect to the point of intersection of this straight line and x-axis, we measure the inclination of the line starting from the right portion of the x-axis. The angle is measured in the anti-clockwise direction, that is positive direction with the line theta. This is the inclination. Let's measure the inclination of one more straight line. Straight line is here. Again, let's measure its inclination. Axis of coordinates, it is here. But in this example, the straight line is not intersecting with the x-axis. In this case, we produce the straight line to meet x-axis. And inclination is measured at the intersection of a straight line produced and the x-axis. With respect to this intersecting point, from the right portion of the x-axis, in the positive direction, angle is measured with the line produced theta. This is the inclination. Let's measure for this one also. The line is here, coordinate axis is here. Here also, it is not intersecting with x-axis. So produce it to intersect with x-axis. And the point of intersection is here. Let's measure the inclination. From the right portion of the x-axis, the angle is measured in positive direction or anti-clockwise direction with the line produced and the angle is theta. And this is the inclination of a straight line. Let's move on and let's define the slope. Slope or gradient of a straight line. The slope of the line is the tangent ratio of an angle formed by the line with x-axis in positive direction. The slope of the line is generally denoted by m. In other words, if a line makes an angle theta with the x-axis on the positive direction, then the slope of the line equals to m equals to tan theta. Let's describe it with the help of the figure. Axis of coordinates here. The straight line is here. We are going to measure the slope of this straight line. Here, the point of intersection and the straight line, we measure the slope right over here. Let's measure the angle theta uh, in the positive direction of the x-axis. Here it is theta. Now, the tangent ratio of this angle is called the slope. So, slope is denoted by alphabet small m. So, slope equals to tan theta here. Again, let's take one more figure. Straight line is here. The line is not intersecting with x-axis. So let's produce it. We are going to measure the slope of this line. So let's take the intersection of a line and x-axis. Let's measure the angle in the positive direction of x-axis. Here it is, the angle is theta. Now the tangent ratio of this angle theta is the slope. Hence, slope m equals to tan theta. Slope of the line is also defined as the ratio of rise to the run. Slope equals to rise by run. Actually, the slope is the steepness of a plane measured by the ratio of rise to the run. The ladder is here. We are going to measure the slope of this ladder. The vertical height of the ladder is three units and the horizontal distance from the foot of the ladder to this height is four units. Now we are going to measure the slope of this ladder. For this, we need to measure rise and run. Starting from the foot of the ladder, uh, the vertical height, let's measure it. 
it is three units up. So rise is three units up. Now let's measure run. Starting from this particular point, we are going to measure the run again. It is four units right. Since this is four units, the run is four units, but right side of the rise. Let's calculate. Here rise is three units up. Up means positive, so three is here. The run is four units right. Right is again positive, so four units. Now let's calculate the slope. The slope m equals to rise by run. Using this definition, we have slope is three by four. It can be measured in another way also. Starting from the top of the ladder, the, let's measure the rise. Rise is here, three units. This vertical is, height is three units, but it is down, three units down. This is rise. And let's measure the run. Starting from this particular point, let's measure the run. The run is here. It is four units, but it is left of the rise. So rise is three units. Rise is three units down. Down is negative. So we have rise equals to minus three. And run it is here four units left that is four left means negative that is minus four now let's calculate the slope using the definition rise by run we have rise is minus three and run is minus four and on simplifying we have three by four now i'm going to demonstrate a property of a slope that slope of the line is same throughout the line let Theta be the angle made by the line AB with x axis in the positive direction. A line is here, theta is the angle made by this line AB with the x axis in the positive direction. Here it is the theta. PB, a point on a line. Here it is, PB, arbitrary point. And let's draw. PQ perpendicular to X axis and R is here. QR is the line on the X axis. Now let's measure the slope along PR. We have slope M1 equals to PQ by RQ. That is rise by run. Again, take N on the line, another point N, and also draw NM parallel to Y axis and PM perpendicular to the line MN. Now we are going to find the slope along PN. Slope M2 is NM by PM, that is rise by run. NM is rise and PM is run. Slope M2 is NM by PM, it is rise by run. In triangles PQR, in this small triangle PQR and the upper triangle PMN, we have both the angles equal. This one PRQ and the upper one that is NPM. These two angles are equal because corresponding angles as RQ and PM are parallel to each other. Now the second set of angles that is PQR and N. M, P, both are right angles. So they are equal to each other. And the remaining angles of the triangles are P, Q and P, N, M are equal because they are the remaining angles of a triangle. So these two triangles are similar. We know that the corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. So P, Q by R, Q equals to N, M by P, M. The corresponding side of PQ is NM and corresponding side of RQ is PM. So from the upper portion here in this blue portion, PQ by RQ is the value of M1. So we write M1 and this second portion NM by PM, its value is M2. So we are replacing this NM and PM by M2. So here it is M2, M1 equals to M2. So slope along PN equals to slope along PR. So we can conclude that slope of the line is same throughout the line. 
Now we are going to find the slope of the line when two points are given. Slope of the line joining two points A, X1, Y1 and B, X2, Y2. Coordinate axis is here. Let us consider any two points A, X1, Y1 and B, X2, Y2. A, X1, Y1, it is here. And somewhere here it is B, X2, Y2. The two points are given. Now the line is here passing through this a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 and its inclination with x axis in the positive direction is theta with respect to this point of intersection from the right side let's measure the angle here in the positive direction it is theta this is the inclination and from a draw a p perpendicular to x axis here it is again draw one more perpendicular from B to X axis. Here it is, two perpendiculars are drawn. Again, one more perpendicular starting from A, draw perpendicular to BR. Here it is, AM is perpendicular to BR. Here, AM is parallel to X axis. As both AM and X axis are perpendicular to this line BR, they are parallel to each other. So we have a set of corresponding angles that is ANO and BAM, they are equal. And since this angle is equals to theta, its corresponding angle, this one, BAM is also equals to theta. Now let's label the figure. With the help of this coordinate X1, Y1, we have OP equals to X1. And with the help of this coordinate X2, Y2, we have OR equals to X2. Now for this length PR, we have X2 minus X1. APRM is a rectangle. So its opposite sides are equal. So this AM is also equal to X2 minus X1. Again, let's label this side AP. With the help of this A, X1, Y1, AP is Y1 and Opposite sides of AP, which is MR, this one is also equals to Y1. Now, the length of the BR, we have Y2. So we get this BM equals to Y2 minus Y1. In right angle triangle ABM, taking this reference angle A equals to theta, we have ratio of tan theta is BM by AM, that is perpendicular by base. Now, we are going to replace value of BM and AM from this portion. We have BM is Y2 minus Y1 and AM is X2 minus X1. We know slope of the straight line is tan theta. So substituting the value of tan theta from this part, Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1, we have slope M equals to Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. Now, this is the formula to calculate the slope of a straight line when two points on the line are given. Now we are going to use this formula to calculate slope of the straight line and solve various problems related to slope. Now let's see some examples. One, find the slope of a line whose inclination is 120 degree with the positive x-axis here. Inclination theta is given 120 degree and you are asked to find the slope. We know the slope of the line is tan theta. Here it is and value of theta is 120 degree. So substituted we have tan 120 degree and value of tan 120 degree is minus root 3 which is the slope of the line. Now another example. Find the inclination of a line whose gradient is 1 by root 3. That is slope is one by root three. Let's solve it. Given here, slope M of a line is equal to one by root three. We have to find the inclination. We know that slope is tan theta. So we have tan theta equals to one by root three. Also, we know that one by root three is the value of tan 30 degree. So we have theta equals to 30 degree. Comparing these two things, we have theta equals to 30 degree. Hence, inclination 
theta is 30 degree. Another example, three, find the slope of a line joining the points minus two comma three and two comma minus three. Solution here, given are the two points minus two comma three and two comma minus three. Let's consider this minus two comma three as x1, y1, and this two comma minus three as x2, y2. We have already derived the formula for the slope that it is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Substituting the values, y2 is minus three and minus is here, y1 is three. Again, in the denominator, x2 is two and x1 is minus two. On simplifying, we have numerator minus six and denominator four. The value of slope is now, it is minus three by two. Another example, if the slope of the line joining the points a comma five and minus one comma two is three by four, find the value of a. Solution is here, a comma five, we consider it as x one, y one, and minus one comma two, we consider it as x two, y two. Also, slope is given here, m equals to three by four. We know the formula of slope m, that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Substituting all the given values, we have value of m is three by four and y2 is two minus y1 is five. Similarly, in the denominator, x2 is minus one and x1 is a. Now let's simplify it. Three will multiply to this minus one minus a, so it becomes minus three and minus three a. Four will go to multiply this portion. Minus five plus two is three and it is three for the 12. It is minus 12. Now, nine is here. 12 comes to left hand side and subtract it with three it will become nine and minus three a goes to right hand side and it becomes plus three a. Now value of a is three. This is the required result. Okay, students, this much for now. Thank you.